The employees at Druid are back making citronella bug spray for the first time in more than a year. They were forced to phase out production of this plant-based oil because Ottawa ordered the product off the shelves by the end of 2014. Then, a few weeks before the deadline, Health Canada called Alain Renault to tell him the ban had suddenly been lifted. So it was public pressure? Yes, I think so. Health Canada says the science hasn't changed. But after CBC News reported on the impending ban, Health Canada told us it heard from consumers and producers and decided it would be in the best interests of both to lift the ban temporarily and establish a new expert panel to review its current regulatory approach. Sam Casu was on Health Canada's original scientific committee that reviewed the safety data on citronella bug spray in 2005. Back then, the scientists concluded there was no evidence of any safety concerns and they were surprised when Health Canada went ahead with the ban. Why well, set up a panel and, and have them uh, make recommendations to you and then turn around and just uh, ignore what the, the panel did? John Arneson was also on the original scientific committee. He worries if it was consumer pressure instead of science that caused Health Canada to lift the ban. I must admit I'm somewhat disappointed they didn't take our lead uh, rather than taking uh, a lead from public commentary. Citronella bug spray is considered a pesticide. That means it's regulated alongside synthetic chemicals like DEET. So after half a century of use and one scientific review that found no evidence of harm, Health Canada is now studying it all over again even though nothing, scientifically speaking, has changed. For Alain Renault, his Health Canada file keeps getting thicker. And it doesn't sound like it's over. No, it's a fight. For now, Druid is planning to put the products back on the shelf and wait to see what happens next. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Montreal.